driven beautifully. That'll be runs. Excellent timing on the ball. Will Young off the mark. Oh, yes. Well, no better way to get your innings off. Just shows how well balanced Will Young is at the start of his innings. Up and through the air. And through the fielder as well. Probably should have been cut off. Once again, with once again, crunch through the offside. Back to back boundaries for Chad Bowes. Oh, nicely done. This is really good timing. It was full, it was straying down leg, and Will really Young, while well, he's up to the task and in good form. That is a lovely shot. That is absolutely exquisitely timed back past the polar to end the over as well. Edged and taken. Aris Rauf picks up the first. In Pakistan, they've drawn first blood. Harris Rauf, as he does on so many occasions, comes in perfect line, perfect length, no slip. And a little tickle is all you need, Harris Rauf. The first wicket goes for New Zealand. Will Young, he goes for 19, 33 for one. Lovely shot to end the over. Glorious scout drive takes the score to 44 for one. Eight overs board. Catch it! It's up ish and just past that fielder at mid off. Daryl Mitchell again going straight down the ground. That's nicely chipped away. Very deliberately elevated in that vacant zone for another boundary. Oh, it's up and it's over. He's so good at this, Daryl Mitchell. Doesn't have to advance, doesn't have to leave his crease, but just hits through the line up and over the top, and it's gone all the way for six. Down the ground again. Oh, that's magnificent. What a stroke. That's two shots of the highest class. Brings up the 100 for New Zealand. End of the 17th. Yeah, full again, and it's been given the full treatment. It's a fabulous stroke from Chad Bowes and an excellent 50 to go along with it. And that's his first 50 in ODI cricket. Chad Bowes has played really well and this ball was a gift. There's the length. Oh, it's been given. It's been given. I'm not sure. Oh, Rashid Riaz was not unsure. He put his finger up. Now it's Ralph finding exactly the right spot. The ball stays down for sure. I reckon that's going down the leg side, isn't it? Hawkeye will tell us, but uh, it's too late for Chad Bowes. Chad Bowes has to walk back for 51, New Zealand 119 for two. Marcus Sarman is uh, into the attack. With his offspin, as he's greeted with a reverse sweep straight away, Isanilla dives over it, and that'll be 50. 50 once again for Daryl Mitchell. He is in uh, terrific nick, his second in... Uh, this series. That's it. Reverse sweeps, get enough glove on that, away from the fielder as well. And Latham picks up a boundary, his first for the afternoon. There is, at the moment, inside out and over cover, just giving himself room, should I say, straight down the ground. And he goes all the way off the back of the bat by Latham. And it's going to go all the way as well just using the pace so this is an excellent over 14 runs off it 185 for two it's straight back down the ground and hit powerfully as well it gets new zealand to two, the 200 a base and dropped He's been dropped at 96 by Naseem Shah. Should have been taken. He was right there. Pakistan miss out on a golden opportunity that probably would have had its impact on the total score that New Zealand might get. Pulls that one and finds the boundary. Tom Latham gets to his 50 with that boundary on the onside. 
19th ODI 50 for Tom Latham and needed that as you mentioned Sana Darrell Mitchell on 99 short ball and that's been put away he'll easily complete that single gets back to back hundreds demanding and commanding respect here number three seems to be suiting him very well Darrell Mitchell once again scoring his third ODI 100 against a very proper bowling attack That's the shot that got him to that three figures. Third ODI 100. And he's uh, played a responsible knock. Making sure the side gets to a bigger score this time around. Back to back hundreds. No easy task. Right in front of the eyes. This time, a bit more flight offered by Osama Mir. And Daryl Mitchell bounces on it very quickly. How did he manage that? He was trying to uh, play it somewhere in the fine leg region and gets a thick outer edge. He goes for the big shot. There is a fielder there. It doesn't matter because he's got the distance. Swung away. Oh, he almost, almost made the ground. Was a little bit late starting off. Osama Mir goes this time because the ball has gone over the fence. And Latham, he's liking this length onto the leg side. A four followed by a big six. Oh, that's a close one. That should be plump and given. Harris Trophy, so often as he does, picks up wicket at the back end. They have reviewed it. Original decision out. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wickets missing. Can you go back on field, please? Rashid, I recommend you to change your original out decision. You are on screen. Make a signal, please. Surely this time. Surely this time and this time, Nawaz. As fit as these modern-day players are, yeah, gets congratulated by his own 12th men and Pakistani fielders alike. Again, it's back of a length. It's a slower ball from Nassim Shah. And it was excellent work from Nawaz. He had to put the big ones in in terms of getting to the ball. Sensational trip for him so far. 129 from 119, New Zealand 302 for three. Through the offside, through the two fielders, and through for four, he moves to 98. A skipper on 98. Swing and a miss inside the inside edge of the bat. At the moment, discussion between Harris Rauf and Barbara Azam. Barbara Azam in Barbara Azam fashion takes the DRS within seconds to spare. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yeah, there is a spike when ball is next to the bat. No gap between ball and bat. I'm satisfied, can you go back one field, please? Rashid, I recommend you to change your original out, not out decision. You are on screen, make a signal, please. Well, a smile on the face of umpire Rashid Riaz. Tom Latham agonizingly close to an eighth ODI 100 goes for 98. Really good review from Pakistan. 3 1 2 for four. Through the offside. That is a lovely piece of timing. Crunch through for four. Eight deliveries left. Slashed. Should go down straight throat. Straight down the throat of the fielder. Harris Rove has four. Yeah, the flag's flying. Harris Ralph, who uh, is game at the end, isn't he? Just charges in, gives it everything. Always senses there's a chance for wickets, no matter how many runs he's gone for. Able to uh, reproduce the fireworks of the T20 series. He goes for one. It's three, two, seven for five. One to go. Oh. Scamper through. Once again, the seam shot exceptional. Ten overs, a 49 for one. Eight overs came off the last over. New Zealand in their 50 overs finish at 336 for five. And they will be very happy in the way they've closed out the last 10 overs. Plies. 
just past that slip field that you're talking about. And the first boundary, Pakistan opened their account with a, a bit of a luck. What a shot that is. You don't have to wait for the ball to touch the rope. You know it the minute it hit the bat. And Fakhar Zaman showing the full face of the bat. Commanding shot down the ground. That's been put away. So, short ball and on the legs is not going to be a problem. Good looking shot. Just a punch and goes racing through the covers for a boundary. Great shot. That's very Imam al -Haq like Leaning into it and getting that boundary. Imam who has made a 60 in the last game. The timing, timing is great. Yeah, too much width. Just flies past that point. Another boundary. That's not a good ball. He's right on top of it, straight away, Mamul Haq. Wow! <laughs> Did you hear that? That was smashed. Shot. That's class from Imam Al Haq. Whereas you get the power and the brutality from Faka. Oh, you are kidding me. Short and wide the ball before. Wide half volley the next. Result the same for Faka. In the air. It was short, it was straight, it was quick. And that is the end of Imam. Just the breakthrough that the Black Caps needed. He cropped onto the front foot and then just got a little bit heavy on him. Late to it as well. Hit high on the bat, which meant that it just popped up easily for Daryl Mitchell. It's 66 for one. Yep. Nudged into the offside. It's another 50. A 16th one-day international 50 for Fakhar Zaman. He is in a rich vein of form. Pakistan Southport and that dressing room are all very relaxed while he's out there in the middle. Smashed away by Faka and taken, no! Chapman makes a meal of that one, it was straight in the midst. Jimmy Neesham disappointed. It was hit square and Chapman couldn't do the necessary. Down the wicket, smashed away by Fakhar. And a maximum. Big hit and a shot of serious authority. Welcome to the crease. That is some swipe. The sound again, once again, off Fakhar's bat. Into his favoured leg side, 85 metres. Smashed away by Barbaraza. Two full from Sodi and crunched. Absolutely powerfully hit by Fakhar. He hit one there earlier. It's almost a replica stroke from him. Well, he's pushed the accelerator. Bang over the top. Baba takes the aerial route. Crunched away, finds the gap, finds the boundary. Brings up the 150. Well, that single is inauspicious in itself, but it means that Fakhar Zaman has gone past 3,000 one-day international runs. He's done it in just 67 innings, which makes him the fastest Pakistani batsman. Superb. Absolutely superb from Fakhar Zaman. His 10th century in one day internationals, his third in a row. The only the fourth batter in the history of Pakistan cricket to score 300 in a row in one day internationals. Wonderful stuff. And he's done in uh, the least amount of deliveries of any of them. Baba celebrated 
as he did on Thursday, harder than Fakhar Zaman. And it's Baba this time. Single to get to the 50 mark. 25th 50 in ODI cricket to go with his 17 centuries. What a player. Leading from the front, Babar Azam, captain of Pakistan. And away he goes. You just knew it. As soon as the 100 was passed, Fakhar was going to light the blue touch paper and send one out of the park. Beautifully played, and it goes all the way. Well, an opportunity to take the game away from New Zealand. And two sides of the wicket as well, when you've got that right-left combination. Good. Well, this has come out of nowhere. I cannot believe how Baba Azam has just gotten out. He's already 14 runs off this over, looking to turn it to the leg side. Oh, bounce and just a regulation. Leg spinner, so he gets the line, the length right, Baba Azam. Just looking to turn it, just get one, steal the strike. He's got to go, 65, 201 for two. A chance. And taken. Matt Henry does the work at mid-off. And unfortunately, the debutante has to depart early. Shipley gets the right length. Dula Shafiq is just the punch high elbow he just tried to punch it over his head got it high up on the bat man henry did well those are those catches where you're not too sure whether to turn around and run another wicket goes down for pakistan this time abdullah shafiq for seven nicely punched off the back foot just to open the face as well what a way to get off the mark Just when I said within the stance he offers with, and <laughs> he's been smashed by Fakhar Zaman. Both fielders inside the circle. Nicely done. Slot the way to mid wicket by Rizwan. He's good against spin, and he just read that limb very quickly. Yeah! Sound. There's a sound. Alindra likes it. And it saw these strikes have gone up. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Flat line, flat line. Satisfied, no bad involved. Team, I recommend you to change your original out decision. You're on screen, make a signal, please. Runs here, that sweep shot. That love affair of wicket keepers and sweep shot just continues. Yeah, you bowl that shot, you will be hit just like that. Not sure what issue they wanted to bowl here. Yeah, yeah make that 150. Not only he's got three consecutive hundreds, but you're also looking to score big 150 not out. Fakhar Zaman. What a time he's having with the bat in the series and in recent times. Down the wicket and smashes that one into the night sky. Fakhar has been looking to play this shot against Rachin Ravindra for a while now. Just like that, one more straight down the ground. What a wonderful shot. A golfer swing this time. Oh, spanked. Oh, the sound of that and the distance on it as well. And to make matters worse... They've spotted there's not enough fielders inside the circle. I think that's what it is. Nisham uh, had his foot behind the line, but they had one man too many outside the circle. does the business trickles into the fence and that'll take Pakistan in one hits distance away now
Rizwan picks up another half century. With the boundary into the leg side, back to back boundaries for him. 9th 15 one day international cricket cheered on by the crowd and Fakhar Zaman. One to get for Pakistan. And Rizwan is the man to finish off proceedings with one. The Pindi crowd, they've got a cheer on because Pakistan have clinched this by seven wickets and now go 2 0 up in the series. Yeah, that is comprehensive. Winning moment for Pakistan from Mohammad Rizwan guides it down to third. Punches the sky as Pakistan go 2 0 up. Yeah, praises to the Almighty. Good on Rizwan. It's been the hands of uh, Fakhar Zaman, the flashing blade. 